Hey everybody, Coach here from WolfNet Radio Podcast, coming to you today to bring you one of the first tutorial videos to help explain the 350 Alpha Strike Tournament format that was just released. Uh, where you can find the 350 Tournament format, you can find it at wolfstragoons.com, or you can join the WolfNet Radio Podcast Facebook page, and it's done to the files on the Facebook page. Today we're going to be going over Army Construction Rules. You can find on starting page 7 on the 350 Alpha Strike Tournament format rule set. And we're going to go through and just talk about how to create a 350 army that you can compete with at tournaments or in casual games. So let's get right into it. A couple of things you're going to need to know right away is the Battletech Master Unit List. This is a website. It's masterunitlist.info. This has a wonderful collection of pretty much every Battletech piece uh, out there. Most of all of them are uploaded, and this is a great way to uh, build and print off a 350-point army with Alpha Strike cards, uh, all the stats, all the stuff you need to bring to your uh, tournament. So right now what we're going to do is explain... Basically, um, the quick rules. Um, so you can have battle mechs, omni mechs, industrial mechs, proto mechs, combat vehicles, conventional infantry, and battle armor in your 350 army. Uh, if you're following along on page 7 of the 350 tournament rules, um, you'll also notice there are units not allowed, aerospace, support vehicles, um, a lot of units that have uh, artillery cannons. Uh, we found that those were <laughs> highly overpowered in the game of uh, Alpha Strike. And uh, also no fictional characters, uh, no experimental tech, and no units with the drone ability. Now this list could expand once we, uh, we uh, find out more and get more units and stuff like that. But for right now, those are the units that are not allowed to have in your army. So when you're, when you're going through and you're making th your 350 army, you got to keep those in mind. You got to make sure to double check against units not allowed. Um, your 350 army can have mixed tech, which means you can have clan mechs and inner sphere mechs, all up to the advanced tech level. A um, couple of things that we will get into. Uh, you, your 350 armies do not have to adhere to a faction availability. So you can have a little bit of Draconis Combine, a little bit of Ghost Bears, you can have a little bit of Wolf's Dragoons, uh, whichever you want. It's, it's uh, all open and able to... Just throw whatever you want together. Um, you can do faction uh, specific. That's totally fine. We run a couple of uh, faction specific tournaments, which can be one way to use utilize the 350 uh, tournament format rules. But in general, for a premier level event, um, there are no faction um, faction specific uh, rules. Just to go down uh, the list, uh, army unit restrictions, you can't have any more than 16 units in an army. You can only have 8 battle mechs, omni mechs, industrial mechs. You can only have 8 combat vehicles. You can only have 5 conventry, conventional infantry or battle armor. And you can only have 5 proto mechs. So those are some of the army unit restriction that you have to have. Um, one rule with proto mechs, if you take proto mechs, you have to take 5 proto mechs. Because when you play in a scenario and you have a proto mech, you have to have all five uh, proto mechs in your list in that scenario. So, uh, again, if you're following along, I'm going, I'm basically going down, uh, through the army construction list on the 350 uh, Alpha Strike tournament format rule set, um, and we will get into the rule of two uh, a little bit. But right now, if what we're basically going to do is I'm going to show you how I build the example list on page eight, and how to kind of utilize master unit list and also wolfstragoons.com um, to give you to be able to print off your list so let's get started off for one um, this is the master unit list dot info this is the home page we're going to use what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up two tabs of master unit list one tab is going to be here listed units and this is where you can search through uh, filters and factions and production area and all this other stuff um, one of the big things is this Alpha Strike uh, Abilities filter. That comes in very handy. The other tab, what you're going to want to have here is you want to go up to the Force, uh, the Force tab up here, and select the Alpha Strike Builder. And this is going to be your other tab that you're going to have. 
Um, another uh, tab that you're going to want to have open is wolfstragoons.com, and you're going to want to go to the force list. So I'll show you right now what that looks like. This, if you go to wolfstragoons.com, this is the homepage. Um, one very helpful thing right here, the Alpha Strike Core Tournament Rules. You click on that, scroll to the bottom, and you can download the rules right here. It's that simple. But for this, we're going to be using the Forced List tab right here. It looks pretty blank, um, and I'll get to this uh, when we get to the elementals and stuff like that. But for right now, we're going to focus on the two tabs of Master Unit List. So if you're following along on page 8, I have an example list, and what this example list is supposed to do is to give you a rundown of, of how the rules are in place. Now I know probably, I don't know how good this list is, I don't think it would be very good, but I'm just, we're use, utilizing this list to break down some of the rules uh, for the army construction. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to go to our force list, and we're going to type in Warhammer. And I'm just going to go down the list. So Warhammer, first one is a Warhammer 6L. On the force page, you can type it in, click the search button, and it gives you a whole list. Now what this does is it gives you the name, the variant, intro, the stats are the short, medium, and long range values of uh, their attack ability. In parentheses, you have the armor and structure, how many tons it is, and what the point value is. So this is very handy. It doesn't quite give you all the information you want. That's why we have the second tab open. So right now, uh, I'm going to go in and I'm going to select, by hitting this plus button right here, the Warhammer 6L. Now, Warhammer 6L uh, doesn't give me a whole lot of information. It gives me enough. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to my other tab. And I'm going to type into the unit search, Warhammer. And I'm going to find right here is my Warhammer 6L. Again, it gives you some information, not a whole lot. But what I like to do is I like to click on that Warhammer 6L. And what it does is it shows me the Alpha Strike card. This is all the information that I need. It gives me its size, its TMM, its movement. Um, right now I have it. it the default on Master Unit List is a skill of 4. 3, 2, 2, which I already knew from the Force tab. It gives me my overheat, it gives me how much armor and structure, and down here is the special abilities box. The Warhammer 6L is a pretty pretty old uh, unit, so it doesn't really have a whole lot of specials in it, but this is where those would be listed in this box right here. It's just nice to be able to see the card before I commit to a, a unit. So this is why it's very helpful. As you can see, see I have my force here. This is and you'll see this will start growing with mechs and vehicles. But it's nice to have this page just to see the card. So we have that. And if you notice on the example list, I have this Warhammer at a skill of 2. So you can go over here to the skill. And I'm not sure if this, there's a little drop down box. I'm not sure if it's going to show up. But anyway, you can see me changing it from a 4 to a 2. You also notice that my point values changed. The lower the skill pilot the higher the point value. And the nice thing is, is this does it all for you. So we'll go through and conveniently I have another Warhammer. I have a Warhammer 6D. Now let's get into the rule of two. Now the rule of two is kind of a way to hedge against spamming lists. And what that means is I don't want to be able to take, I don't want players to be able, or, or the, the format is is conducive to eliminating as many quote-unquote cheese lists where I'm just going to spam uh, five Warhammer 2Cs or something like that. So the rule of two is specifically for battle, tech, or battle mechs, omni mechs, and industrial mechs. Uh, players may only have two units that share the same chassis name in their army. Chassis name is Warhammer, the WHM. That's this right here. I can only have two WHMs in my list. Now, specifically for battle mechs, omni mechs, and industrial mechs, they cannot share the same uh, variant. Your variant is the numbers and letters that follow the chassis. So a Warhammer 6D. The 6D is a variant. The 6L is a variant. So according to the rule of two, I can have two Warhammers, but they cannot be the same variant. 
Um, and we'll get into, we'll go down the rule of two once we start adding those units. So I have my, I'm not allowed to have two 6Ls, <clears throat> but I have a 6L and I have a 6D. And I decided that my 6D is going to be a skill three pilot. Now, I'm going to go over here and going down the list, I have a Warhammer 2C. Now you're saying, Aaron, or coach, uh, Warhammer 2C, you already have two Warhammers. Warhammer 2C is, is a different chassis. It doesn't have that WHM in it. It is a different chassis, therefore I can have technically two Warhammer 2Cs, which is what I have in my list to indicate that you can have two mechs that have the same Warhammer in them, but again, they are two different chassis. So I'm going to choose a Warhammer 2C2, and just to, you know, let's just see what it looks like. I can go back to my units page, type in Warhammer 2C, and I can scroll to find the Warhammer 2C2. There it is, and I can see the card. Obviously a lot higher PV, does a lot more damage, has a lot more armor and structure, and down here you can see it does have a, a specials. It has case, indirect fire 2, and it has the LRM222 uh, special attack. So that's just nice to be able to see the card. <clears throat> so I've added that, and I've also decided that I want that guy to be a really good pilot as well, so I'm going to bump him up to a 2. Now, because I have a Warhammer 2C2, I can also have a Warhammer 2C4, because the 4 is a different variant. So I'm going to add them in, and I'm going to put them at a skill 3 as well, just to make, it, make them a little better pilots. Now, remember, when you're making them better pilots, you're also making them more expensive. So this is a very big thing. If I were to use this list as a stand-up fight scenario, remember that you're only allowed 200 points of your 350 for each scenario. So right now, I'm over 18 points. So I would either have to reduce some of these uh, piloting and skill roll or piloting skills, or I can add in different units. So I think I'm pretty good. That's what I'm going to use for mechs. Uh, this is a good example of how variant and chassis work for the rule of two for battle mechs, Omni mechs, and industrial mechs. So we're going to move on to elementals. We're going to get some battle armor in here. So I'm going to type in elemental on my force, and I can see that there's a whole bunch of them. I got a whole bunch that I can choose from. And on my list, I've got the machine gun right here. Elemental battle armor machine gun. So that's kind of what it's claiming as the variant. And the rule of two for all other units, combat vehicles, VTOLs, elemental, conventional infantry, uh, proto mechs, those follow a slightly different rule of two. You can have two of the same chassis and the same variant. So what that means is I can have two elemental battle armor machine guns. I can't have three and I can't have any more elemental battle armors because I've already used up the chassis and I've already used up the variant. But I can't have two of them unlike up here for battle mix. So that is for pretty much everything other than battle mech, army mech, and industrial mechs. So I'm going to choose two elemental battle armor machine guns to put in my list. Now, you're saying, well, what kind of elementals am I going to use? Well, that's a good question. I chose machine guns because that's what it says on there. But let's go ahead and look at what the actual card looks like. So I have to make sure I first of all find the right one. Elemental battle armor machine gun right here. Now, here is where our third tab at wolfstragoons.com is going to come in. If you notice here, this is the Alpha Strike card for an elemental. The biggest thing to notice here is underneath the, the chassis, it says Squad 4. This means that this card is representing four uh, elemental battle armor suits. Now, if you scroll down, you can see here, here's the elemental card for Squad 5. Or if you want a Squad of 6, here's that battle, battle armor page. Notice that the point values are different. Squad of 4 is 16. Squad of 5 is 19 points. 
The squad of five also adds an additional armor. And sometimes it might even change the short and medium uh, damage values. It does change down here. You can see cargo five, cargo six, and up here, cargo four. So let's say you wanted to use a squad of five elemental armor. <clears throat> what you can do is you can simply, well, let's, okay. And we can take this and simply drag it over. So if you miss that, basically what I did, <clears throat> oops, I'm sorry. I clicked on the picture, but I, I think I can even do it here. You can just click and hold down and drag this picture up to your wolfstragoons.com force list page and simply drag it in there. Now, why, what you're saying, the only reason we do this is because on this page, there is no way to distinguish between uh, five, six, and four um, squads. I can't select, and it's, it's one thing that we're hoping that Master Unit List will take care of in the future, <clears throat> where we can select, hopefully on this page, instead of where you see skill, we're hoping there's another drop-down box where you can select squad size. But for right now, it doesn't do that. Now, what you can do to keep your math correct is see how I went from four to three. Well, the three skill for my elementals is 19 points. Now, that does not mean that your squad is going to be a skill of three. It just helps you in your math down here to figure out that, you know, for your 253, because I have two squads of five elementals, that is 19 points. As you can see up here, 19 and 19. Nice thing about the wolfstragoons.com force list is you can print this off and it will print in the three by five cards for Alpha Strike. And you should be able to just cut those out and uh, fit them into your sleeves along with the rest of your units. So that's just kind of a nice little, um, nice little tool that you can use uh, at wolfstragoons.com. But right now we're going to keep going on. I've got, uh, but for this list, I decided to keep them at squad fours just uh, to follow along through the bottom. And, and they're at skill fours. Now, I want one more battle armor. I don't know why. I'm feeling frisky. So I'm going to try a salamander battle armor. Whoops. Got to be able to mander. There we go. Okay. Now, because I can't have any elemental battle armor, that doesn't mean I can't have more battle armor. So I just have to choose a different chassis and a variant for the other one. So I'm gonna just gonna go, um, let's just go with the Salamander Battle Armor Laser. So I'm gonna select that, it goes down here. I'm gonna keep it at a skill four, but I wanna see what the card looks like. So let's just type in Salamander. And up here, you'll notice it has Battle Mech and Infantry. This says there's six salamander battle mechs and three infantry that are called salamander. So we click on that and now I can see the card. Turns out it's pretty good. 6J, two short, has a heat one, which is a nice ability, and fire resistance. So that's a pretty cool, uh, cool mech. 16 points, not too bad. Again, it's a squad four. If you wanna drop down here to a squad five or six, you'd have to click this drag it up to your Wolf's Dragoons tab and place it in there. But we're not using that. So I've got a squad of four in here at 16 points. That looks pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with <clears throat> my uh, infantry. So let's move on and I want to get some Protomex in here. Now Protomex have a couple, like I mentioned before, if you're going to use Protomex, you have to use five Protomex. So there's no reason to put just two or three uh, protomex in your list because otherwise you won't be able to field them. So you have to have five protomex. And remember, protomex also follow the rule of two, which means you cannot have more than two of the same chassis and variant. So I'm going to go to my list and I, I'm going to go with, let's go with harpies. So I'm going to throw two harpies in there. I can have two of the same chassis and the same variant, but I can't have more than that. And let's see, let's just, because I know it's on my list, I'm going to type siren. 
and I got the Siren 4. And let's add that one in there. But just, uh, I'm going to add, uh, I feel like I want a little variety of sirens. Let's, let's go and type in siren up here in our units list to see the difference. So there's a siren 2. Moves at 20 inches. Has a 0 star, 0, 0, and 1 structure. It's 7 points. But I want to see the difference between this, you know, a siren 2 and a siren 4. A siren 4... Well, there's a big difference. That one moves 26 inches. Still the same stats, it looks like, other than it has a special of the E&E, &E, which is energy. But man, that Siren 4 moves a lot faster. So I'm going to use that one as a scout. But I still like the other Siren. So I have a Siren 4, and we're going to add a Siren 2. Those look pretty good. And I feel like I need something just a little more odd. So let's go back to units, and let's go with an Orc. Proto mechs right here. You can see there's a battle mech infantry, proto mech, and support vehicles that have orc in the name. But we're going to go with an orc 2. Let's see what it looks like. Orc 2, 12 inches. Uh, it's got an armor structure, and it's got stars next to all of the zeros. Stars are a. Um, you have to make a roll. <clears throat> it's in the Alpha Strike rulebook on um, how to use the stars. I have an idea, but I'm not 100% sure, <laughs> and I don't want to waste time going through that. So. So I feel like I'm gonna add an orc in there to round out my <clears throat> to round out my proto mech point. So I got my and just to you know maybe I need some uh, some fast moving VTOLs. We're gonna also add some hawk moths, and I've got two hawk moth gunner ships. Again, these are not battle mechs, so I can have two of the same. Uh, chassis and two of the same variant but I can only have those two and uh, <clears throat> another thing excuse me with a rule of two players are only allowed to have two units with a skill value of two and two units with a skill value of seven any number within these units may have skill values of three through six this is to limit players from choosing either really bad pilots but but units that have a purpose or really good units. So um, skill levels can only go as low as two and all, can only go as high as seven. There's no zero or one pilots in the 350 tournament rule set. So looking here, those hawk moths don't really do much, and I think I'm going to maybe use them for tag or spotting or, or transports or something like that. So I'm not, really, not going to really use them for attacking. So I might want to just bump them up to a skill 7. And they go from 15 points to 9 points. So that can be a very good thing to have if you're using units that you don't plan to shoot with. But I can only have two units at skill 7, and I already have two units at skill 2. I have a Warhammer 6L and a Warhammer 2C2 at skill, skill 2. So I have fulfilled both... The rule of two for my skill value of two, and the rule of two for my skill value of seven. Everything else can be threes through sixes, uh, as many as I want. But I can only have two sevens, and I can only have two twos. And um, just to round out the last uh, rule of two, there can only be two units with the ART ability in your army. Uh, what that means is you can only have two units in your army that have the artillery um, special ability. Uh, we've found out through testing that if you spam artillery, it can get a little scary. So, But it's also a helpful tool, and we didn't want to take it out completely. So two units that can have the ART ability in them. Now, as you can see, I'm at 314 points. Oop, did I miss anything in here? No, I didn't. Okay, yeah, um, 314 points. I'm at 14 units, so I could technically add two more units to this as long as it was under 350. And let's see, I'm going to, let's go with the maximum transport. Just in case I want to get my elemental battle armor uh, to a point faster than I can get there with any on their own. And let's go with a Mark 1 Maxim, or a Maxim Heavy Hover Transport Standard. 
And as you can see, I can see it's got a 330, but the nice thing about using both tabs is I can go look and find out that the maximum one, where is it? Right, oop, that's company command. Well, it's gotta be around here somewhere. You guys are probably just screaming, it's right there. There it is, right at the top. As you can see, the 330 is also on a turret. It's got that TUR33. It's got tag, it's got an infantry transfer of 12, move 16, it's a pretty good unit. It's got four armor, three structure. I like it. Pretty good. At 35 points, it fits in right under 350 points. I'm at 349. I got 15 units. I have my five protomex, two VTOLs, a transport, three elemental battle armors, or three, el three battle armors suits, and four mechs. That's pretty good. I mean, I, I haven't play tested this one, but I like it. It looks pretty nice. I think we've gone through uh, all of the rules. Remember that there's uh, you can have units with the MDS special ability. That's mines, but you're not allowed you're not allowed to deploy the mines. Uh, there's no specialty ammo. There's no pilot or command special abilities. No formation bonuses. Um, and as currently right now, there are no banned units in the 350 list. So this is just a, a nice little way to teach you how to use both tabs and the wolfstragoons.com force list to build your army and what you want to do is you just want to sit here print pdf now this is the, one of the big things that um i need you all to understand that when you're bringing your list to a tournament you need to bring the actual cards because you can see here the master unit list does not take into effect the skill changes for point costs. So right now it says I'm at 312 points, as you can see down here, which is not true. Now, if you scroll down, what it does is give you a nice printout of all your Alpha Strike Battle Mech cards, or all your Alpha Strike cards. You cut them out, you can put them in. Uh, I find that uh, the card sleeves, the three, bind three ring binder card sleeves work for a really nice way uh, to use like a wet erase marker or something. But you can see, you can see here that I've got all my units. All of them are the skills they're supposed to be at. They reflect the correct PV. Sometimes I like to just write down here in the in the extra space or whatever, how many units I have, what the PV is, so a tournament organizer can quickly see that uh, you are un you are at 350 or under, and you are under the 16 unit list. If you ever question if your list is valid, please email it to uh, the Wolstergoons, or 350 Wolstergoons uh, e at gmail.com. Uh, I think uh, the website is on the Wolstergoons.com or the Wolfnet Radio Podcast Facebook page. Or you can get a hold of us on Facebook. Um, we're pretty easy to get a hold of. If you have a question on the validity of your list, please let us know and we'll, we'll go through it and give you a thumbs up. But for right now, thanks for watching. This is uh, kind of the first tutorial we have for creating an Alpha Strike 350 point army for a tournament or a casual game. So, hope you guys all enjoyed. We'll have a lot more tutorials coming up on scenarios, tournament rules, terrain making, um, a lot more other terrain going through the entire rule set um, to give you guys a little better understanding of what uh, this is and how it works. So thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the Wolfnet Radio Podcast YouTube page or join the Facebook Facebook page at Wolfnet Radio Podcast um, and the Discord channel, which has a link on the Facebook page channel. So thank you for all watching. Thank you for listening. Hope you guys all enjoy the 350 tournament rule set uh, as much as we did. So thank you very much and have a good day.